Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. And we get uh, changing of the clocks this weekend, so spring is uh, getting close. So all you folks in cold weather, it's going to get better out there. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that is not. But that love is, will not make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow down 35, Nasdaq up 6, S&Ps were flat, gold contract uh, flat at 1337 an ounce. Silver off 3 cents at $21.19 an ounce. Platinum. Up 13 bucks at 1,477 an ounce. Late sweet crude down two dollars and 31 cents with juice, with some volume going downtown at 101.01. You had the uh, 10 year and the 30 year up a few ticks. King dollar down to 73 ticks, trading out at 80.11. You have the euro down 11 at 137.32, and the yen up 15 at 102. Point thirty six. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We have a flat market out here. You did $620 million. You did 850 yesterday. Um, that's normal occurrence after, you know, basically a couple days of volatility out here, no doubt. Um, we'll see how this shakes out coming into the jobs number. We are at 1873.60. The, the benchmark out here, folks, uh, for a lower price would be uh, 1867.92. That was a spike high of Friday, and we are above that area. We go to the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. What do you have with the Dow? Sideways move out here, down 35 bucks. Uh, Dow's at 16,360, and that is... Uh, this, the ice portion of that, which we closed uh, slightly over yesterday, we're back underneath that. That is 16,372. We go over to the NASDAQ composite. This is what you have with the NASDAQ composite. The composite out here up six bucks, and you're at a higher high. A composite yesterday, we're at uh, 4357. You're at four. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> we closed right at the high of yesterday. Bottom line, you're at a higher high. Uh, 2.1 billion versus 2.4. Now, if we go, we take a look at the SPY first. Uh, what you have with the SPY is this. The SPY did 80 million shares, and she's going to need more. What you had is we closed. The high of yesterday was 187.96. We're at 187.75. You went to 188, but uh, bottom line is that uh, you, you, were at, you were at highs number one, and in order for the SPY to be a failure, the SPY has to get back inside 187.15. That's not a lot of bucks, that's for sure. You're only talking 65 cents. We go into the three Qs, the NDX 100. That continues to be kind of the weak dog in this whole deal. Uh, we did 25 million shares out here. You're at 91.06. We go to the small caps. We take a look at this, the IWM. The IWM had a heck of a volume surge at the close yesterday. Uh, IWM sideways move out here today, down seven bucks. Gold contract. We go take a look at gold. What we have with gold, GCJ. So gold contract out here. Yesterday, well, two days ago, you up thirty bucks. Yesterday we come down thirty. Today you go sideways. Uh, the benchmark inside gold were thirteen thirty seven six zero. Uh, anything under that 1345 level of sand, gold wants to go get into lower price. We go to the silver market, SIK we're on right now. So what you have with silver out here, hmm, it's going to be interesting coming into the end of the week here. So silver's driving lower. Um, it was only down three cents, but this is what you have. Silver has a little bit, yeah, it's a lot different setup than gold, actually. So what you have with silver is this. When we went topside, on the 14th of February, we went from 2048 to 2152. Uh, we're backing into that area, but we're already into that bar by way too much, meaning we're at 2118. The top of that bar is 2152. So what that sets up is it's saying, I guess what, we're going to get out of the bottom of that bar, which is the 20.48. And um, that is, that's, a, that's a big move from where we are right now. We'll see what kind of juice 
we have as we get into that lower price point. Oil. Let's go to the oil market. The oil market out here was uh, got smoked and got smoked pretty good. So, oil goes down two dollars and thirty-one cents today. You do two hundred and forty-six thousand contracts, and uh, we'll see how it trades into this one hundred point two three. Uh, it certainly went into where it broke higher when it, when it broke when oil broke higher, folks. This is on the eighteenth. We did one hundred ninety thousand contracts. What that what that is saying is that guess what you're going to go get you you just went into that with much higher volume wide price spread that's saying that the 100.33 will break and it's going to go to the bottom of the range now that's going to be a big number uh, inside that oil and gas complex out here today what you did have is that good old Exxon Mobil that's what was actually dragging the Dow down Exxon Mobil was down 272. Um, this was no doubt a classic. We were actually talking about this yesterday. And what it was is that, you know, it had come off the highs of 101, goes straight down to 89, comes back up, running into ice. And the, this was almost a perfect technical type of setup. Ice was 97.39, and we got to a price point of 97.25. Uh, bottom line, had volume come out of the stock today, 19 million shares. So on a Daily, what you have, the way Exxon is set up right now, is that she wants to r run down to the bottom of her range. Now, there's two separate ranges. You have the first range that's out there that's 89.25. That's going to be the first place she's going to go after. But what the larger range is down at the 85.02 area. And the sell-off inside this, okay, news-driven, well, sell-off to me was had no volume at highs, but the news inside of this it actually took a couple days uh for that for this to happen because when russia went into the ukraine uh nothing happened basically yesterday exxon Mobil, the prior day was at uh 95.50 it traded uh 95 96.86 yesterday uh what you have is that the exxon Mobil has the largest production position in Russia. That's, that's what this is all about. So if, in fact, either us or the EU, European Union put sanctions against Russia, guess what? They're not going to be able to do business. So now you can imagine, folks, what the yin and the yang is of all of this. Because what do you think the odds are about how many lobbyists are right now sitting in Washington, D.C., making sure that no matter what Putin does, that guess what? Corporations are going to go do business there. If I've learned anything over the course of the years, folks, what big, what our big corporations love is this. They love to have the American flag behind them, but they love to do business with everyone. Okay, And then they'll pay off all the congressmen, all the senators to make sure that can get done. And the only time they come back yelling and screaming is when some of the assets get taken. And then, of course, when they want to send troops over there to go get their assets. You know, the bottom line, it's hypocritical beyond belief. But that's what you have. That's why it sold off today. Um... That's what's going on with ExxonMobil. And ExxonMobil is going lower. We take a look at the um, the XLE, because that, that was dragging the XLE down in general. Uh, XLE, you know, we'll see whether it can, you know, drive lower. The volume wasn't that big today. It was down, uh, 10, down 82 cents, did 10 million shares. The XLE actually needs volume to expand to about 15, 20 million. Uh, what it has done is that it got to the highs of the consolidation it's in, and wasn't able to handle those highs. That's what you have thus far. We also have a high volume low from February. So that saying wants to get tested. And the high of that low is 84.17. The low of that is 81.75. And I do expect we're going to see that run down into those levels. Uh, inside the, uh, the three Qs, the NDX100, uh, what you had out here, we had a flat market out here. What was uh, taken away from it was Myelin Pharmaceutical. Uh, that was down, down $1.36. You had uh, VRSK. That was down $1.30. Uh, Akamai Technology was off $1.13. And Expedia was off $1.31. Putting juice into it on the way up. You had Facebook. That was up $2.77. We had Fast and All. That was up, uh, where is she? She was up $1.76. You had Citrix. Systems up a buck seventy-eight, and we had Amazon, which up. Uh, come on, baby, where is she? 
She was up, oh, she was up $8.47. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.